I'm David Macy, Senior Product Manager for Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about brushes. Last time we talked about a conversation that I had with a couple of artists at the ICON conference, um, where I showed them how to go into the paintbrush, double click on it, and set the fidelity and smoothness all the way down to the minimum in order to have this uh, brush really follow their stylus as closely as possible. So it would really feel like drawing uh, with a pencil on paper as much as they could. Um, now I'm going to talk about a different kind of brush called the blob brush. So everything that I have here on the page is all drawn with different brushes in Illustrator. But all, all of these look different, but they all share a certain characteristic, which is that they're all paths with a brush applied as a stroke on top of the path. In fact, if I go to Outline View, you'll see that they're all exactly the identical path um, that I created once and just duplicated it, and then applied different brushes to it. Now one of the things that will happen because these are strokes applied on top of a path. Uh, if I zoom in here and take a look at what does that actually look like on a couple of these. Let me uh, select two of these. And you can see that the path is right in the middle. The stroke um, makes the appearance come to the outside of the path. Because I drew with pressure sensitivity, it's narrower on this side and wider on that side. Now what happens if I want to go and erase this? I can take my eraser tool and on either of these I can go and just like try to erase right along the edge here. And you'll see that it actually doesn't erase anything. As soon as I let go, it just re-renders the brush right on top of the path. Same thing down here. Maybe I want to get rid of one of these little hairs from this brush. I can't do it. Until I actually hit the path itself, then the eraser will actually split the path and re-render the brush on both sides of it. Now with the blob brush, that's all different. Um, the conversation that I had with the uh, the two artists, the, the next question that came up, one of the um, gentlemen said, you know, I really prefer drawing in Flash because the brushes in Flash just work the way I expect them to. And that's really why we introduced the Blob Brush in Illustrator, to, uh, to mimic the way brushes work in Flash. So let me pick the Blob Brush here. If I double click on it, you see it has the same kind of settings. I can set fidelity and smoothness. I can set pressure sensitivity and size with variation based on pressure. And then if I go and draw, do it very lightly and then get heavier, you'll see that I can make the same kind of strokes as I could make with a calligraphic brush. But when I go and select this, you'll see it's all um, a single filled shape. In fact, if I pick the blob brush again and I do some more painting, all of this becomes a single filled shape once I uh, release. Which means then if I go and I use the eraser, I can erase whatever I want. Exactly what I see is what will be erased and the path will, or the shape will look exactly like I want it to once I let go of that eraser. So that's the uh, blob brush in Illustrator. If you use that in combination with the same settings that I showed, setting the fidelity and smoothness all the way down, uh, let's make uh, maybe a much smaller um, size here. And you can really use that as a very uh, precise drawing tool. Um, you can also set the uh, size while you're drawing, smaller or larger, smaller using the left hand um, angled bracket on the keyboard, larger using the right angled bracket on the keyboard to adjust as you're going. And once you create it, each one of these is going to be a filled path as I showed you. Next time around I'll probably talk about all these other brushes in Illustrator which are also very powerful and useful. So thanks for watching.